This has already been mentioned before that the maximum rate of interest that is charged on calls in areas is 5%. Of course, interest may not be charged. The company may waive the interest. It is option. When interest is charged, the entry would be shareholder account debit to interest on calls in areas. Interest on calls in areas is an income account and is therefore credited. Calls in advance is at the rate of 6%. When money is received, so the interest amount is 5%. Actually, the rate of interest on in calls in areas or calls in advance is mentioned in the Articles of Association of a Company. If the company has not mentioned the same in its articles or it has not prepared an Articles of Association, Table A of the Companies Act becomes applicable. And according to the Table A, according to Table A, the maximum rates of interest for calls in area is 5% and for calls in advance it is 6%. A call in advance is when money is received before the call is made. In such a case, the company has to pay the interest at a rate of 6% is what is mentioned in Table A of the Companies Act. <clears throat> interest on calls in Edwards would be an expense, would be an expense. Entry would be Interest on calls in advance account debit to shareholder. 